heading down memory lane. Heading down memory lane, my boy Johnny. Yo, John. We're, oh shit, you're, you're too close, bro. You might break my camera. Hold up, man. Let me make this more. Okay, There's there no you go. Freaking ass. <laughs> Brook, this is St. Anne's Avenue, One Thirty Seventh Street. All right. That's Carlos. Carlos liquor store right there in the corner. Carlos. Carlos Ramos. He was uh, actually our birthday is actually next week. You know, he's born the same day I was. He was my crime back in the days, but he was one of the best DJs from the seventies. Worked in all the clubs I worked in as well. He was always the out DJ. The projects down here. Let's pause it for a second. And we're back. You know, now we're gonna head up on 38th Street. This was all bachelor territory, by the way. Up here was the Cypress Bachelors, where we're gonna turn up into right now. And this here, my friends, was part of the murder capital of the United States back in them days. And um, this up here was uh, up here was the, the, the main headquarters for the for the Cypress Bachelors, right across the street from a Catholic church, of course, no doubt. You know, and back in them days, everybody was like, "Fuck everybody." That's just the way it was. We're gonna take you down Cypress Avenue now. Um, so um, we just see, we show you like one of the deadliest neighborhoods from back in those days, back in the, in the late 60s and 70s, drug infested. You know. And now they have. Huh? Yeah, they have a. Uh, that's nice, actually, man. You know, it's a nice little garden, and people go there to hang out and stuff like that. Pause it for a second. And we're back. Down Cypress Avenue. Don't be running nobody over, Johnny. They have a restaurant, actually, over here that serves really good food. Where is it? Right there, Pio Pio. Pio Pio, the food in there is really good. I've eaten there before. Food's outstanding. Right in the middle of the ghetto. Nice restaurant. How about that? Actually, this you know these these build these little houses here weren't here. Any of these, these was all buildings before they all burned down, and then they renovated the rest of them. But you see little private houses out here now, all the way down. And this is like one. Of, this was one of the most notorious drug areas in all of the South Bronx at one point. A lot of killings up here. My brother used to live right here in this corner building. And down here, they usually have a cop car here at all times with cameras. Oh, and there it is. Let's go down, John. Right here. See, they always have a, a, a cop car here because this neighborhood is so bad. That was the corner where they killed my cousin back in 1988. But this here used to be hell. It still is. As you can see, that there's still, a, there's still a cop car there at all times. You know, and it's pretty much there 24-7, right, John? Johnny, was this neighborhood what, what, say something about this neighborhood real quick. It was the most beautiful neighborhood in the whole wide world. <laughs> he says with a straight face. It's really great. <laughs> oh, shit. You're a clown. This was my mother's church right there. Um, but they finally renovated this building, but they haven't opened it yet. It, they've been renovated, that building. I guess they're waiting to finish the front of it. Storefront. That pharmacy's been there for over 50 years. That pharmacy's been there for over 50 years, according to John Don. Okay, then we're gonna go down. This was actually people's park. We used to throw some nice jams here back in the days, you know. And Frenchie used to run this park many, many moons ago. He used to come here to play handball. And, um, now we're going to turn down Brook Avenue, which is just as bad as Cypress, by the way. Um, I'm going to show you guys where the Sting used to be, club we used to hang out in, back in the early 70s. We actually had a boxing ring down there one time. We used to go down there and box. And this is Brook Avenue. This is like, a, probably the worst part of Brook Avenue used to be down here. This is where we hung out. 40 Park is right here, around this bend. Whoa, whoa, sun. And, um... There. There's always some shit happening around here. This building right down the block here, where we're gonna pass through. This is where we used to have a club named The Stink. But when this building was abandoned, actually, they sell drugs out of this building, and drug addicts would line up around the corner. 
And that right down there was the, where the sting was, right down here. This is where we would all meet and go to clubs. Yeah, right here on this corner, there used to be a liquor store. It's a restaurant now. But we used to always meet right there and, and on that corner. And on, every Friday night before we went out, drink a little bit and then we get in our cars and head downtown. No less than 20 or 30 of us. Yep, yep. 20 or 30 of us. And we go downtown and we didn't raise my hand. This is actually 40 Park. They're renovating it now. Hold on, John. We used to always play basketball here, handball, paddleball right there. They still have the the wall up, but um, they're renovating this park. That's cool. Those little houses in the background back there, they, need, they didn't used to be here. These they actually built long ago, these little houses. These used to once be buildings here, but they renovated those as well. This is um, 139th Street. Uh oh, here we go. Right here on Willis Avenue. Actually, Grandmaster Flash is still living right around here, right? Wait, wait, right over there? Right down the block. Right down Flash. the block, Grandmaster Flash. We used to go to some hooky parties at his house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, home of Grandmaster Flash. This is our neighborhood. I remember the first time uh, when I seen him on the get down. He says, I remember you. I'm like, I remember you too, Flash. And last time I went to one of his parties, there was a shootout. It was just some knucklehead shooting up in the air to, to ruin his party, but, um, you know, everybody scattered and stomped all over each other trying to get out of harm's way, but it was just some idiot. This is Willis Avenue. These projects are infamous. Mount Haven project. Mount Haven, and then back there is uh, the Mitchells. Patterson. And the Pattersons on the other side. But um, this, the area we're about to approach now, um, I call it Junkiesville because this is where, where all the junkies converge, um, you know, on a daily basis, you know, to to cop their drugs and they get high and they nod all over the place and the cops don't even bother them. You know, it's ridiculous, but that's just the way it is around here. You know, they overlook certain things, but to me, it's like a quality of life issue. You know, that should be addressed. You know, but. It's, this is, after all, the South Bronx, so, you know, we live under a stigma that still holds true to this day. We know there's a lot of good people here, you know. I'm not saying that, that junkies are bad people, I'm just saying that, you know, drug addiction is, is, is a really serious thing in this area, you know. I mean, they do stupid things to support their habits, but go, 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 go to the next, go, go straight, go straight. See, this is, this is the block right here where they all hang out and stuff like that. Uh, let me see, slow down a little bit. Make it right up here. My boys, oh shit, my boy, oh yeah, my, that's my boy's place right there. The Cuchifrito place. You know? Well, there, there's not a lot of them out here today, actually. You know? But they be over there, too. They're building up the plaza over there. And that's where they all hang out. Okay, we're gonna pause this for a second. I remember this store. This liquor store has been here for forever, for a long time, for as long as I can remember. We used to come back here in the days and and get our, our wine, our Swiss up and stuff like that, and Thunderbird, and we called it bum juice, you know. And, and you know these guys are actually, you know, that, that we used to consider guys like that that just live for drinking bums. You know, we don't, we don't, I don't think we call them that anymore, right, John? Cause, it's just a disease, you know, like they, they're alcoholics, you know, but hardcore. There's not too many of them out here today. Usually this is all full and right here around this corner. They usually be sitting right there and there's none of them there right now, but they usually sit right back out there. We're heading towards 149th Street now. And, um, you know, the third avenue is to the left up here where all the shopping stores are. This is VIM over here. We're gonna pause it for a second. Okay, so here we go again. Oh, so Makusa. Yeah, this goes, this takes me back to high school. All right, this is my neighborhood again. My favorite pawn shop right there. I haven't been there for a while, but this is where the Bronx City used to be, right here. 
right where it says Medical Center, Health Center, it used to be the, the Bronx Theater right there. Now we have the Opera House over here, which is actually, slow down, John, which is actually a nice hotel. The rooms there are really nice. I recommend it to anybody that comes from Europe because the rooms are really nice. The beds are huge. So the area is coming up up here, you know. And the Coquito Man is over there too, you know. I used to live in this building right here in the corner on the third floor. My first bachelor pad. So I would tell everybody, when my red light is on, don't come knocking on my door. <laughs> you know, because I will not let you in. Except for Junebug. He came one day, he insisted so much, I had to let him in. He saw me with this pretty girl and I said, okay, now you know I'm busy. Get the hell out. And he finally left. That's actually a juvenile jail right back there. And, um... And now, um, that used to be 150th Street, actually. But, um, this is my hood. PS27 right in the background back there. And St. Mary's Park starts right here. In the corner of St. Anne's and 149th Street. Of course, this is my hood. But up here is the Moore Houses. You know. And, 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 and you know, I know the projects have, you know, uh, stigma attached to them because you know high crime rate let's see although every weekend they throw parties out here and it's like that see that right there is the rock from the get down and this concludes our tour for today what do you got you guys say john bye <laughs> bye 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 <laughs> Dog, which way did he go, George? Where did he go? Where did he go? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, until next time, this is Willie Marine Boy, your host, saying Arrivederci. Ciao. Bonsoir. Amirese. And goodbye.